I'm a former chair of the ASHRAE Technical Committee. How many are familiar with the ASHRAE TC 9.9? Any of you? No? Okay. Um, so I'm going to talk about the materials out of this committee that we developed. It's in your book, we have, or in your notes. We've developed, uh, I think there's 12 books, and I'll talk about pieces of all of them. Um, and this is an ASHRAE course, so there's some requirements and restrictions here. You can't take this and publish it all over the world or whatever, okay? Um, these are the sections I'm going to talk to, and I put the slides down there. This is not in here. I'm watching this, so I don't pick over my cable. <coughs> these, I don't know whether we'll get through these today. We have uh, four and a half hours, if I add up everything. It's probably going to be less than that, because I'm going to take probably breaks on each, in between each section, is what I'm kind of thinking. Maybe short breaks on some of them. Longer ones where you have your uh, break for tea or whatever, okay? Then lunch towards the longer break. I'm thinking probably the first four parts, maybe this morning. The last three, maybe this afternoon, something like that. We may not get through everything. If you've got a hot topic you want me to really cover, uh, you have to tell me maybe during the break. Like, I really want that to be covered, just you got to tell me. Okay. Hardware overview, so I'll give you some, I'll say, brief trends on the way the industry is going. I, I worked for a hardware manufacturer and worked there for 37 years, developing, uh, I'll say, high-end uh, computer systems. So I'll talk about hardware, hardware overview trends, uh, the current and projected, and we'll talk about power trends. Talk about a lot about the environmental envelopes, temperature, humidity, particulate, gases, contamination, ESD stuff, corrosion stuff, um, hardware basics. You know, our computers designed from the thermal aspect mainly, a little bit on power. Hardware requirements, discoveries, concerns. These are the ESD, corrosion, pollutants, high power cracks. How do we ventilate them? How do we cool them in a data center? What are best practices? Facilities air cooling. A lot of different ways to do air cooling in a, in a data center. A lot of different ways. So we'll talk about best practices. I'll show you some videos on some of this stuff. Liquid cooling. I'll, I'll say I'll, a little bit of trend up on liquid cooling. Liquid cooling, I'm talking at processor level or rack level liquid cooling. I mean, liquid cooling generally is in data center, but it's not, I'll say, the norm down to the rack level. But more and more of that because powers are going up. And then I'll end up with economizers, okay? So let me ask you just to get started kind of where you guys are coming from. The, the four topics up here is kind of where you're coming from. IT operations. IT operations. I want, I want you to tell me which kind of category you're in. DC facilities operation. You know, if you run the data center. And in facilities, we design, architects, and construct data centers. And the last one is coming. Talk about the way you're in So think about which category you're in, okay? Yeah, maybe, yeah, I think there's a little blur. So how many are in IT operations? One. And facilities operations, running data center facilities? Wow. Okay. 
Design Department Tech and Construction. Okay, I'm going to say that must be past. Twenty hundred. Is that other? Okay, maybe five. Okay, it's not quite right because it's about thirty. Okay, interesting. <coughs> Okay. So you guys are thinking.